The 8th of May was the 74th day of courageous fighting of Ukrainians in the war against the Russian occupiers. At a time when the world was commemorating the Day of Remembrance and Reconciliation, the Russians were attacking Ukraine with missile strikes. The air alerts in the morning could be heard almost all over the country. Nikola Znovuce Bula Oda Ludini Rozumno Hin Civilizovano Svitu Alechtos Svalchivov Spotvorov Nikola Znovu Notam Sumnivu Zagloshiv Rospochavshi Svoyu Smartelnu Ariu Zla. So on the day of mourning, the Russians demonstrated their never again in the best possible way. A Jewish cemetery was bombed in Suma region. It was not only a historical monument, but also a special symbol for the entire Jewish people. Three rockets hit Odessa. Unfortunately, there were losses. Удалося збити чотири ракети. Але на жаль, було попадання в житловий будинок, наслідок чого поранена молода дівчина. В Баградському районі зруйнована підстанція, через що в шести населених пунктах немає світла. In Luhansk region, the occupiers fired on an oil refinery in Lysychansk. They did not stop the shelling and continued artillery fire when Ukrainian rescuers arrived on the spot. In the Donetsk region, Russian troops targeted and destroyed St. George's Skeet of the Svyatohirska Lavra Svyatohirsk Cave Monastery of the Moscow Patriarchate. Пропагували русський мир. Ось русський мир прийшов і прицільно роздовбав цю церкву. Це не said officer Yuri Kochevenko. He noted that it was not the first time Russian troops had attacked the religious building. Meanwhile, in the temporarily occupied territories, the Russians want to organize a celebration of May the 9th. In the Kherson region, Russian propagandists are arranging stages in the central squares of cities and bringing spectators there for the necessary picture threatening them with guns. This was reported by the locals. The stage was made of what was at hand, with Russian and Soviet flags in the background. Russian and Crimean ensembles and solo singers sang. Of course, they sang songs about the victory and the fighting spirit of the Russian soldier. In the territory of the temporarily occupied Zaporizhia region, the Russian occupiers are taking away documents from local residents. They promised to give them back on May the 9th at the so-called celebration, thus forcing people to go there. This was reported by the press service of the Zaporizhia military administration. In addition, the region had to impose a long curfew for two days until the morning of May the 10th all because of the possible provocations of the occupiers. According to the Ukrainian security forces, the Ukrainians are going to shoot civilians and then accuse the armed forces of Ukraine. In the destroyed Mariupol, residents are massively receiving ribbons and invitations to a parade on May the 9th in the city center. The advisor to the mayor, Petro Andrushenko, reported about it. Joyful smiles and happy faces are backed by the military convoy which is so diligently hidden by propagandist operators. They survived World War II, where they fought side by side with the Russian soldiers against Nazi Germany. And now the descendants of the same soldiers are killing their children and grandchildren. Ukrainian veterans of World War II addressed Putin, who today repeats in Ukraine what Nazi Germany did. Oleksandra Romanchukova, who was the nurse during the World War and lived through the siege of Leningrad, is tearfully asking the Russian president to allow Ukrainian soldiers and civilians on the territory of the Azovstal plant to leave the encirclement. Это люди живые. Это люди, у которых нет ноги, нет руки, раненые, сидят без помощи медицинской. Они не могут их полечить, они разрушили все, что можно было разрушить, медицинское обслуживание не получают. 
я готова встать на колени перед ним, чтобы только он этих людей оттуда выпустил. And once again he struck the world with hypocrisy because he wished them longevity and peace, the peace he had taken away. Defenders of Mariupol gave a press conference. Deputy commander of the Azov Regiment Svetoslav Palomar and the intelligence officer Ilya Samoylenko held a briefing directly from the shelters of the Azovstal plant, which they continue to defend. Було, ми нарахували більше 25 вильотів, в тому числі трьох стратегічних бомбардувальників. Працює ствольна артилерія, працюють танки, працюють міномети. The military stressed that they cannot guarantee that all women, children and the elderly were evacuated from the plant. People could be staying under the rubble. Чи всіх евакуйовано? Ми цього твердо сказати не можемо. Оскільки жодна, жодна міжнародна організація чи владна структура, політики наші українські не приїхали сюди, на територію Азовсталі. Немає спецтехніки, щоб розібрати всі завали. Ukrainian defenders highlighted that there are hundreds of wounded soldiers at the plant who are dying due to the lack of basic medicines and proper treatment. They also announced a new figure for the civilian losses. At least 25,000 Mariupol residents had died in the city according to their estimates. On May 8, 10 buses from Mariupol reached Ukrainian-controlled territory. 173 people were on board, both from the city and directly from the Azovstal plant. Among all the children, this girl was rescued from the basement of the plant. Her name is Alice. She is four years old. This video went viral a few weeks ago. Alice's mother is a military medic who helped people in the basements of Azovstal. And so it would seem that the little girl's request was heard and she was lucky. The evacuation began. She and her mother joined a group of civilians who were taken out of Azovstal with the assistance of the United Nations and sent to Zaporizhia. But little Alice came to Zaporizhia alone, without mom. For unknown reasons, Alice's mother was taken off the bus at an enemy checkpoint by Russians and probably sent to a filtration camp or other punitive institution. It is not clear where the representatives of international organizations responsible for guiding the evacuation were at that time. But one thing is clear, we must do everything possible to return Alice's mother. Уважаемые товарищи, хочу сказать, что выполняя поставленные задачи по защите наших людей на Донбассе, по обеспечению безопасности нашей Родины, российские солдаты и офицеры действуют мужественно, как настоящие герои. Наши военнослужащие сражаются с той, с полным пониманием правоты своего дела. Никогда не откажусь от своего убеждения, что русские и украинцы – это один народ. Наши солдаты и офицеры стремятся не допустить жертв среди мирного населения. С полным пониманием правоты своего дела. Жертвуют собой, своей жизнью, чтобы спасти боевых товарищей и мирных жителей. В ходе боев 
и наши военнослужащие, и ополченцы Донбасса проявляют действительно массовый героизм. Наш народ гордится своими вооруженными силами. Специальная военная операция идет в строгом соответствии с графиком, по плану. Все поставленные задачи успешно решаются.